So we knew the storm was coming. And this morning, Darren and I took Koji for a walk. And this is Maltby Cove. And this is the other side of it. And this was about two hours after low tide. What we're looking at here is the right of way for our little section of Summer Island. This is our beach that we have access to a public area for. And this is what the beach normally looks like and that's what the right of way normally looks like. This is one side and here's the other. This is probably at a medium tide. At high tide there's less beach, at low tide there's a lot more beach. And this is what it was looking like this morning about two hours after low tide. So we're right in between the tides and it already was pretty stormy. And this is what our yard normally looks like. Another picture. Notice the lagoon and how it breaks before it hits land on the other side. This was our yard this morning. Um, normally at low tide, we could see all the way to the bottom. It's muck. And about two hours after high tide, there's a little bit of water, but it's never ever this high. And the stairs usually have rocks at the bottom of them. This is stairs out of our little garden. And the water was already coming up to where it normally is at high tide. Then we came back in, I had some breakfast. I started wrapping presents, looked out the window and saw this. My neighbor moved their car to the lawn. I went upstairs to close some windows and saw this. There's normally grass in between my view and that house. And this is sort of the side of my house and the street was flooded. And this was the yard. Now remember the yard actually had a divot and a break in between the cove, sort of like that, and the other houses, but it was completely flooded over. And normally when I look out my front window, that's what I see, but today, this is what I saw. The water was coming straight from Long Island Sound across into the street. Gosh, this is crazy. This is just crazy. We are totally connected to Sunset Beach by water. It breached Robin Lisa's yard here right over their wall. Um, we have water over on the neighbor's side where it's always uh, grass. That's grass normal and now it's marsh. This is the hood looking around. Uh, yeah, everybody's out just worried about their cars and everything. Above water. Um, and the wind Now remember here the earlier pictures I was showing, there's a wall, there's sand, there's a beach, and where the water is coming through right over here, that's the right of way that normally looks like that. This is Maltby Cove. It was Maltby Cove. It's uh, just the sound now, Long Island Sound. And uh, whoever knew we had a little bobbling brook. There's Darren and Cody. 
what we're looking at here is what this was this morning, which is usually pretty dry for quite a while, unless it's high tide. And same here, but now it was completely flooded over on both sides. So this is where we are. And the two beige areas are Sunset Beach and Summer Island. And the green is marsh. And at some point they threw some land in and put connectors from the marsh to the island, it used to be that you can only take a ferry from where it says Linden up to Summer Island. And now the two connectors of the road that you see on both sides make it feel like it's just all connected, but it's really not. And that first picture we were just looking at is the south connector, and this is the north one, which is completely an island right now. This is around the corner from us and then down the street and heading back toward our house. Just a few more pictures. And here I'm looking through the rose arbor right at the neighbor's yard, which is usually grass and they got pretty flooded in their yard. And though their house is lifted, they're kind of safe, but that's the front yard. And then down a few houses is the tip of Summer Island Point and waves crashing in from the sound. And this is about 1 p.m. today, about two and a half hours after the high tide left. Still full of water, um, although it's really going down, going down pretty rapidly. But that's where the causeway connects on the north side and it's still flooded. Crazy stuff, huh? Happy holidays.